Hello everybody, Miles the Fireman, and welcome to episode 1 of our old time Let's Play. We've moved farms, this is Bramshaw Farm. This is the map I built. Uh, so we're going to be playing on here. Now, this is what I was waiting for instead of Folly Hill. Now, yes, that shouldn't be like that. It will be fixed, so will that. This big hole is where the manure pit's meant to be, but it doesn't work on this map, so we're going to have to do slurry only. Um, so they're the like two things that I need to just sort of sort out, and there's a lot of flickering textures as well I need to fix, but we're going to go for a couple of mods. Um, now the fields on this map are fairly, they're big-ish, I wouldn't say they're massive, but some of them are fairly big, some of them are fairly small. So you have to pick the sort of right size of equipment to do anything on this map, otherwise everything just gets stuck, because everything has a collision. So you have to make sure you've got a big enough combine to do something with, it's not going to take years to do anything with it. But we'll we get combines first, because they're the most expensive, they always are. Now, I was going to go for one of these, but I do have this New Holland with a track it's not private, this is on Modoster or Modhub or whatever you want to call it. So we could get that, but it's fairly expensive. Um, <clears throat> uh, what else? So I was sort of leaning towards a couple of these older ones over here. There is this, which we could get, which is 75,000, which is even more than that New Island Combine. So I think if we just went for that one and we can put the 4 meter head on it because I've made I've widened all the gateways so they're all big enough it won't the 6 meters are a bit overkill on this map it, it tends to get stuck a lot more right so that leaves us a lot of money to play about with getting tractors and animals and stuff like that now as this is an old time let's play we're gonna do this properly and not go for big machines and and that so we're gonna go for I'm just trying to think. I can't remember which old tractors I have got that would be any real use on this map. Because, like I said, the field, some of the fields are fairly big, so you want something that can get it done quick. Otherwise, we'll be waiting around quite a long time. Uh, do I have any? Right, let's jump back to the old time DLC. Uh, yes, I am just going to keep scrolling through till I find something I want to do. Ford 4000 could use one of them. That doesn't have a three point, so we're not using that yet. Um, could get one of them. They're only s they don't go very quick. Well, that's the problem. Uh, right. So let's grab a four wheel drive one of them. Now we will be upgrading through the time periods if you want to call it that or whatever. Do you want to call it? Now that leaves us quite a bit of money, so that means we can shop around for some other stuff. Maybe get a few other tractors. Now I want to get a tractor in to do all the ploughing and cultivating. Well, no, just cultivating and seeding. So that's that one. So we got cultivators. Uh, get that one. We will be getting other tractors as well. Sprayers. Now, I did pick that up today. But I don't think it's any good. Uh, we'll buy the other stuff later. Uh, right. Um, so we're not going to be hanging around with this old stuff for too long. I'm going to try and speed it up through... A couple of these older ones. Uh, I'm not really too bothered about dates and stuff. I know I could say it's 1950s and all that shit, but I'm not too bothered about that. And my headphones keep rustling. Which I hopefully you can't hear, but I don't really know. Oh, this is where this header trailer becomes a pain in the ass because it requires a high hitch. To stop it grinding on the floor. Yeah, my headphones are broken. 
Um, I can only hear the game volume through one of them and the other one just keeps rustling. Start then. So, that's what we're going to be doing for a bit anyway. We'll be with this small equipment and then stuck with this small equipment and Jesus Christ, these headphones are annoying as hell. Right. So yeah, stuck with this small equipment, then we will be upgrading. Because we can't do any bale stacking or anything until we've upgraded. So we can't really get the animals. I think we'll just keep these two old tractors and then we'll... We'll buy a couple of newish ones in, shall we say. So it'll be like the old time Let's Play Just. There's going to be a few other bits and bobs thrown in so we can actually get some stuff done. Right, this trailer does not have a lock. So let's go. Now we're going to go do one of the big canola fields. Now this is on hard difficulty by the way as well. Let's just go this way. So we're going to do a couple of bits and bobs today. So we might have these two tractors and then buy a, a bit more of a modern one to do all the mowing and stuff with. Because I don't want to stick it. Because this map, you know, like I keep saying, is like a mixed size. So these things will be good for some fields. But we're going to have to keep that combine. That combine's going to have to stay. But we've still got 123,000, that's the problem. So I want to... We're on hard difficulty, so we won't make too much money. I think if we go for one of these wheat fields, start off with... So, if you've subscribed to Nick, you will know on how much live streaming he's done. I have pretty much been in all of his live... <laughs> in most of his live streams. And we've ground out. For fuck's sake. I fucking hate this. This header is trailer is awful because it, it's a um, I don't like the bend it's got in it. It's really annoying. It's one of these ones that's meant for the combine, but if you try and put it on the combine, it, it kind of doesn't want to work. And that's because it's connecting to the lower one. I want it on the higher one. If it went on that really high hitch at the top, it'd be so much more easy. And of course, these things then have four-wheel drive, so they do not... And I've just pressed the wrong buttons about 30 times. So yeah, the combine's definitely going to tow this trailer a lot more. Because that's a pain. So let's... I know this is going to be a pain in the ass. me keep buying tractors and stuff. Let's go for... Let's go for something that's going to pull that header trailer pretty easy. I don't know if these things will. Uh, 75 horsepower... I need something that can mow as well, that's the problem. I need some old tractors that can mow. Mow, run slurry tankers. So. I don't think the old DLC is going to be sticking around for very long. Right, we'll have a look. We'll have a bit of a look next. We'll get this harvest underway and then we'll either sell these tractors we've got and buy some better ones. I didn't realise on how small they'd actually be. I haven't actually done any playing with them tractors on this map before, but as you can see that's a fairly big grass field there and that's just one of two big grass fields that I've, we've got to mow. So we're going to need some fairly big equipment. But combines you have to stick to the smaller ones to get in and out. But, yeah, there's the fields don't have any 
sell or buy point so we haven't really got anything to really we can work towards animals which we're going to start at some point we're not going to start them today but hopefully I shall get round to doing it where you can buy fields so this map is only version 1 um, I am going to fix lots of stuff and we may even start another map I don't know yet But if I do start another map, it'll be somewhere that I don't live, or somewhere that I don't know. I mean, to be fair, this map is not particularly based on where I live. It's based sort of where I live. Oh, fuck me. But yeah, this... Uh, these fields get fairly tight, especially on the corners. So you have to do about one or two headlands before you can use um, the auto combine, otherwise it will just get stuck repeatedly. So these are the bits that are the hardest. I should have I should have made the fence stick out a little bit further on the corners. So you had some room to reverse up and get in, but you can do it. Now there are some bits on this uh, on this map that want flattening out. Some of these hills are extremely steep because I didn't know how to really use the terrain but I watched the tutorial on it and now I know there's another set of options you can click to to say how like how vicious do you want it to come up and that so I was I didn't know about them so I thought so I just was making hills to try and not make it as flat and then I didn't realize that you could do do it this way that way this combine doesn't get stuck that often to be fair it actually does work pretty good right so one headland is just about enough maybe even two might be enough to two would definitely be enough to get him past but So, I've got some equipment that I do want to use. It may not be, it may not corrugate with the time scale. It's still old stuff, but it might be a bit more. Not, let's not, let's say modern ish. It won't be like plowing with a two for a plow and that. It'll be doing some other stuff. I think what I'll do for headlands. I could do one more just to make sure. But we're gonna we've got other stuff to get on with, so we need to set him going. You're here. I think we should just get rid of these tractors just straight off the bat. They're not This map is just way too big ish now. Really, if we're being honest um that stuff is kind of not what I want to use because it just takes a lot longer to do anything with it and it's a little bit of an annoyance because so much time is gone. Now we could buy a Ford TW10 which I think I might do and that can be our loading unloading tractor and raking up but then some people might say, why Why have you still got it if you're using a knackered combine and all that? Um, it's hard. I haven't actually thought about any tractors that I really want to use. 
I mean, we could use that Massey I did, the reskin. Um, we could use... No, we can't use any of the new Holland bundle because they're all really, really modern. Two. So we may use some other stuff. I think the Ford TW10 is looking like the best option I've got at the moment. But then again, we need another tractor to work alongside it. So let's buy that. Let's buy that on one of the Fords. Let's buy a 4,000. Now the reason I've gone for a massive tractor than a tiny little one. The little one is to pull the trailer. And the big one is to do all the other work with. Now these Fords are as loud as balls. So we'll put it on 10. This Ford could probably pull a different trailer. Right, so that gives us enough money to start to do what we want to do. Now, we're going to keep this Ford for a little bit of time. What is it? 75 horsepower, isn't it? So, what plows have we got? That's 92. Um, what modded plows do I have? That's 30. That's 100. 400. 150. 55. We could use that. I think that's our best option at the moment. Don't worry, I'll do all these courses off screen so that we're not watching. We're not watching and wasting time. Uh, we'll we'll have to just use that one. Right. We're gonna we'll do some other stuff with that big Ford a little bit later on. Whoa. And I was not looking at this road, I was actually looking at something else. How did the fuck did that turn over properly? There we go. I was not, and as you can tell, there's a lot of flickering textures on this map. A lot of them. There we go. Manual uh, manual attacher actually helps quite a lot for doing them sort of things when you get yourself stuck and have to unflip and you can't hook back up to it. They they do help a lot in them situations. Now, if you didn't know, if you don't want to drive all the way through that. You can drive up here. Um, this little shortcut road. So you go round the back here. Uh, round this bit, that bit of road still floating up. Down the back of this road here. And this puts you out by the field that the combine's in, which I think has got stuck. A very tight corner that to be fair. Uh, yes it's got stuck. And it's got stuck because it's tried to do something stupid. Like it's tried to not turn around like I said it to do. So yeah two Netherlands is probably the best you're gonna get. It's probably the best bet to before you start a um, hired worker Oops. Because otherwise you'll end up with that problem quite a lot of times. Now th this is the problem with this, these Fords, these wheels. Um, it seems to be like it only drives on one axle. Or one wheel, should we say. So instead of driving on both of them, which it should do, it just drives on the one. So when, every time you get it stuck, that's it, game over. You have to put four wheel drive on. So you look fairly unrealistic. I don't know why the sound went off there. So we're going to sort of start purchasing stuff that we need. Lizard. 
say seven meters. What's that? It doesn't say, but we only want a smallish one, so. Uh, can't have a manure spreader, slurry tanker. Now you may be wondering why I'm going to buy this one. Um, it's a bit more modern. Yeah, what's that? 143. Yeah, I should pull it. It's a bit more modern, but I have actually changed quite a lot on it. So let's go for mowers. Now I want a small mower because you can't really do anything. That's a, that's really modern. That is. Maybe that with the Ford 4000, but some of these fields are a bit big. If I got you know, the bigger ones. No, nope. I think that one's going to be our best bet. It's quite nice as well. Right, that'll do for equipment now. We'll, uh... So I could deduct all this 82,000 and just have zero again, but then... So for other people that said, where's Folly Hill? We've moved. This is now our Let's Play. So basically we're on episode like eight, but we're not. So this map is available. I did I did release it. Uh, it was released on Mod Hub. It's it's now everywhere. People have reuploaded it everywhere, which is kind of cool. It's on ls15.com, Mod Hub, LS, um, LS. No, Farming Simulator 2015 mods. It's on there. It's on a few of us as well. Right, so we'll go for 25 minutes and then we'll. Uh, 25 minutes, then we'll stop. I'm probably going to record like two or three of these in a big bulk. Um, just to do it, just to clarify, Sandy Bay Farm will carry on. I'm going to record a load after this one. Once I've recorded about three or four of this one, I'll go on to Sandy Bay, record about four or five on, on that one. And then I'll just have to fit this one into the schedule, which means Sandy Bay will not be the only map we're playing now. So we will be dotting about. Which hopefully you all, hopefully you do enjoy this map. I mean, I know some people have actually downloaded and said it's good, which I was kind of shocked about. And the Ford didn't load in, then I got scared. So that's what I've done to that tank. Um, as you can see, I've just put a rust skin on it, but it looks quite nice with a rust skin. I've even done the wheels and the arches. The tyres look really new. That's why I wanted it because it kind of fits in nice rusty old equipment like that thing. That mower is really cool but it is tiny. That's the problem with it. So we've got our stuff. We are now ready. We don't even have any animals so I don't know why I bought that tanker. Probably just to be ready. We even need to get a feeder, but I don't think I've got a very small feeder. I know where to get one though, so I know where to get one though. It's not private. That's the thing. There was a Polish pack released, a very big Polish pack, I think it was called, was released, and um, in that pack there was a very small feeder. I I never got round to actually downloading it. But there was it did it did look like there was a very small feeder in there. So I'm gonna download that pack and if I can I'm gonna strip that feeder out and then just delete the rest of the pack. But if I have to keep the whole pack in then I will. I kinda don't want to. So when you when we come back for episode two, we should we should have this field finished, maybe the next one finished. I don't know why auto combine's not working properly in this field, but probably because it's not actually a field. It was working fine in the other two, but this one it just doesn't seem to want to work in. But yeah, we should be on to that big canola field just over there by episode two, and then so we'll be uh, cracking down on these things. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Please tell me what you think. Um, please tell me if you really want to see this. This is sort of like the pilot episode, episode one. This is the make or break. So if you don't want to see this map, or if you do. 
Um, it just helps. If you wanted to see it, like, more than Sandy Bay or Sandy Bay more than this, then I can tweak it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more today, and I shall see all of you in the next episode. Happy farming. Bye-bye.